All right, tell us about this quote about AEW from this article. Well, well first, first, t- tell me about uh, the show tonight. I want to quickly talk about this quote first, and we'll go into all the shows. Okay. Because this quote is is ridiculous. Okay, well, you you give the quote, and you give your feelings. I have my feelings. Obviously. Well, I mean, the quote was just about how... I don't even have the quote well, in front of me, the but quote, they were, they were the talking about right. blood and guts I and have how the, horrible I have the quote right in front All right, what's the me? quote? Okay. Is, there's a, there was an article in the Toronto Star, and it was essentially about AEW and... Um, you know, it had quotes from it had quotes from Wade Keller and Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff's an idiot. You know, I mean, he's his. Oh, you know what? You know, his quote was something like, uh, you know, um, they should go head to head. You know what I mean? I, I you know what I mean? And it, I guess they talked to Eric because the idea is Eric is the last guy to have been competitive with Vince. And he was, you know, he was the last guy with WCW 20 whatever years ago. I mean, the, the, they were they were competitive through. The end of 1998, even though they were losing the ratings pretty consistently before that, they were still very competitive from, you know, I would say from, you know, week week one of Nitro, you know, when they went head to head, beat Raw. So that's the end of 80, 95. So I would say late 95 through late 98, three year period, a little over three years, they were legitimately competitive. Then 91, they fell apart and all that. Um but his thing was just like if they really want to be competitive, they need to go head to head on Monday. And it's like, why the fuck? Number one, it isn't their choice. Other than he said he doesn't, you know, Tony said he would never go on Monday because he doesn't want to fight the NFL. And you know what? It's like, yeah, why would you want to? Wednesday's your night. Um, you know, I mean, they did go head to head once, which WWE. You know, um, you know, I mean, it, they, they were never going to they, sh- they should have never gone head to head. They went head to head once because WWE extended their time and they lost. WWE lost that one. Um, but it was a fight that WWE picked. Um, so, you know, it's like, but it, again, uh, why go on Monday? I mean, weaken yourself to prove a point, you know, go against the NFL now. You know, granted, they were both going against the NFL then, but this NFL now, the way television is, and the NFL then, they're different freaking animals. I mean, the NFL was, of the top 100 shows on television of the last year, 91 were the NFL, and that was certainly not the case in 1998, you know, when those two companies were going against the NFL, even though the NFL was still beating them both handily. Um, the, um, you know, in fact, I think... I'm trying to remember. I think that there, I could be wrong about this, but I think that there was never a week where the two of them combined ever beat the NFL. I could be wrong. There might have been a week or two, but, but as a general rule, you know, they, they did not beat the NFL when they went head to head with two shows. Um, you know, but, you know, again, and they never were expected to, and it was still the biggest period for wrestling, and wrestling was much hotter then and all that. But, that was just like, um, you know, I mean, I guess I could sort of see, let's talk to Eric, but, you know, I just thought Eric's quotes were so stupid. Um, Wade, you know, Wade was good, obviously, but... Um, the main the w- quote. What? The main quote. Well, the, this quote was way down in the story, but they got the quote and it says, if you look at the gory self-mutilation that... Um, uh, that bloodied several women in the December 31 event on TNT, it quickly becomes clear that these are very different businesses. We had an edgier product in the Attitude Era, and in a 2002 world, 2022 world, we don't believe that type of dangerous and brutal display is appealing to network partners. So that was their quote. They okay. Picked- okay, go ahead. So I just want to make this clear that I realize that they're talking about 2022, which is uh, you know 16 days old now. But was it not like uh, a year or two ago that the guy in charge of this company did an angle where he got head butted and bled all over the place? Am I imagining things? Did that it not was a little, It was it was it was a couple of years ago, but it absolutely happened. Okay. And 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 am I imagining, um, by the way, that other that other moment where they didn't want to do brutal self mutilation in a Brock Lesnar Randy Orton match? Yeah, that was several and years so, ago. So as opposed to using a razor blade, they had a a two hundred eighty pound man pummel the other man in the head with the point of his elbow and bust him open hard way and, and practically give him, and kill give him the a guy. concussion and give him. Did a that concussion. not happen? Of course that happened. Hmm. 
That's interesting. Okay. So you're telling me that it is better to to legitimately headbutt a guy. A, a, a 70-year-old guy. Yeah. Or, or uh, pummel a 70, someone think about that. into think about a, a concussion year, a, uh, with it's, your it's, elbows from an MMA a, fighter. You're telling me look, that these are better than, uh, than slicing yourself with a razor blade. That's what you're telling me. It's a 70-year-old guy. Do you know how bad that is for you? I'm quite aware. That's my point. Of course not. Of course. That's that's the most ridiculous thing in the world. Of course it's like... Did anybody in this article bring up that they had a former UFC heavyweight champion pummel a man in the head with the point of his elbow to bust him open hard way? Did anyone mention that? Or the headbutt? Did anyone mention these two no, things? No, no. Neither of those things no? were in the article. Huh, how about that? Yeah. Well, that sounds like a shitty article then. Well, it's not an expert wrestling fan. It's someone from the outside. Look, they interviewed Eric. Okay, that right then and there, what does that tell you? That they don't know who they're, they're talking to someone who doesn't know what he's t talking about, that doesn't know modern wrestling anyway, and also has nothing to do with this. Tony made Eric look really stupid, but, you know, in the article, you know, when Eric said that, he's going like, look, we don't choose the night we're on, um, which, you know, for the, of course that's true because Tony wanted to be on Tuesday. Well, that I mean, everyone why it was called Tuesday Night Dynamite originally. That's why he trademarked Tuesday Night Dynamite. He wanted to be on Tuesday, and because of the NBA, that was not possible. I remember even, you know, bef before, they, after they had, it was already known they were going to be on TNT, I remember everyone going, they're going to be on Tuesday, and it's like, they are not going to be on Tuesday, they are going to be on Wednesday, because Tuesday is impossible because of the NBA. That is just how it is. Monday, they weren't going to go because they didn't want to go against the NFL. That was very clear. And it would have been stupid, you know, and then Friday's a shit night. You don't want to put it on Friday. Um, and I think there were there were other reasons, too, for that. But, you know, Wednesday was the night, you know, and it's like it's it's it was the best night for them. It was the best night for the station. So you want to move it because what is there because he doesn't have guts? No, because he's not a fucking dumb shit. So it's like that's like a really easy answer to a question. Um you know, so whatever. Um, the but but the whole so so you know the but the guy writing the article he's not going to know about the Brock Lesnar elbowing guy in the head over and over and again and all that. But I mean, to me, okay. So here's the thing. Obviously, the strategy, and this has been the strategy for a long time, is you. I mean, look, they did this. You you remember you were you were doing a newsletter when Vince did were you you but in the mid '90s when Vince did this, yes. you know. I mean, I remember Vince, you know, them sending me the press release. And, you know, obviously, the back he door. He cried about blading. He cried about steroids. He cried about steroids. Can you imagine? Yes. He cried I about steroids. He I don't cried have to about, imagine. He did it. He cried about blading. And then three, four years later, fucking they were blading left and right in their promotion. Vince McMahon himself. How many times did Vince use a razor blade on his own forehead? Multiple. Many, many times. Many, many times. So it's like, you know, and and that, yeah, yeah I guess you could say you should probably, that probably should be in the article, too. Um, you know, now, because, but, but it is, okay, it is a different world. And tons of blood, while would be appealing to some, tons of blood would probably be a very bad thing. And I mean, I, you know, there are a lot of people who will not advertise on UFC because of the blood. A lot of people. There are a lot of people who will not advertise on wrestling because it's, considered sleazy and WWE has worked very very hard to try to lessen that and to a degree WWE and USA have have made strides in that but it's still you know again WWE is not selling ads like if an NBA game does a point four or five in a WWE game in a WWE event raw does a point four or five it's not like the ad rates are identical. The NBA game ad rights, or if an NHL game, God forbid, ever did that, in which it doesn't. But like the NS the NHL has the NHL. Think about this: these horrible NHL ratings from Wednesday night. Okay, the it was a point one two for one game and a point. Uh, God, I don't remember. I think point oh four, point oh six, some crazy thing like that. Um, I sh actually have it, but um. It was a, the second game did a terrible, terrible number, which is another interesting story because for there were a lot of people around, you know, when, um, you know, the NHL games on, on TV, on TNT after wrestling had done bad numbers. 
um, there were a lot of people going like, uh, oh, wrestling's such a shitty lead-in for, for the NHL. So now that wrestling's out of the picture and their lead-in for the NHL is the NHL, they're doing lower numbers because their lead-in's worse. The NHL is a worse lead-in for the NHL than Dynamite was because Dynamite had so many more viewers. So anyway, but but the gist of all this is the NA, the NHL package is six hundred twenty-five million. The WWE package is, um, you know, four hundred. It's probably four hundred and ninety million because they do have an XT as well. And the AEW package is about forty-five million this year, maybe a little more, but not much. Uh, maybe fifty forty-five to fifty, um, and you know, the NHL ratings are by far the worst of the three because. It's, uh, you know, advertisers are far more willing to go with the NHL because it's more acceptable. And, you know, WWE, the reason they don't do the blood is because they want to be more, you know, acceptable to advertisers. Um, and so they're going to complain about some just like in when they were fighting WCW when they were doing steroid testing and Hulk Hogan and Macho Man were bigger than they were when they were well Hulk Hogan wasn't bigger but Macho Man was bigger and a lot of the guys were bigger at 45 than they were at 35 and Vince is calling foul it's uneven which by the way you know and again calling you know you know they you know Ted you know some Ted he when he wrote the the letter to Ted you know it's like your guys are on steroids and your guys cut the foreheads with razor blades you know, how can you condone this, Ted? You know, that's what he did uh, like 26 years ago um, or whatever the year it was. I think it was 26 years ago, the um, maybe 27. The um, so it's the the Vince that is the Vince playbook. But if Vince really, you know, I mean, he doesn't do it because he doesn't think it's advertiser friendly, because after that, a couple of years later, he did all of that stuff that he decried because, um, you know, he could make money doing it and um and that you know he thought he could make more money doing it and vince would still do that now except for the advertisers thing so the thing is is they are going for more advertisers and i don't know what the situation is with the AEW and advertising but it isn't it in spectacular i know that if it was uh if they were doing spectacular with advertisers they'd probably still be on tnt um just because the rating really is that good but they're they're not doing terrible but they're they're you know um but it is it is of concern i haven't seen a domino's ad ever since the freaking nick gage match um you know they threatened but i also haven't seen an ad since so i think they followed through with that threat um and you know again you don't know who that are major advertisers won't because of certain situations and advertisers that pull out rarely tell you why they just pull out like with ufc they lost a lot of advertising over dana i think with um the loretta hunt thing you know there were there were you know companies that were run by women and companies that weren't run by women who heard that thing you know dana when he did a rant on loretta hunt which was, was a reporter and everything and they lost they lost shit over that um but nobody you know there's never a story because nobody ever you know, they just stopped, people just stopped advertising. So you don't know what the effect the blood of the blood is or isn't, but it does make it, you know, a lot of blood will make advertisers squeamish. It doesn't mean they'll pull out, but it may hurt them going in. Wrestling itself, by the nature of being wrestling, hurts them going in. So there is that. Um, but, you know, again, if WWE was, was, um, you know trying to be true on this then um when how come the last time they said it three years later they were doing everything that they decried and number two we've got a wwe network you know and it's like have they is there stuff on the wwe network where people have self-mutilated themselves on any of their stuff of course there is it's all over the place they don't you know they're not taking it off and um, believe me i'm not telling you to take it off i'm just saying that that's why this is hypocritical because they're not taking it off if they are so if they feel so strongly about it's a different product they're selling um and nbc peacock is selling the exact same thing that they're complaining about today 2022 they are right now on the w network we could probably find 200 matches you know with 
all kinds of freaking blood all over them that was self you know and from wwe from ecw from every promotion from mid-south wrestling if i can find that shit on the network from wcw it's all there's stuff from all of that and it's there you know and it's also an interesting thing because they called attention you know it wasn't chris jericho and adam and um and um nick gage that they complained about they they went for the women because you know that's going to you know and again like women blading guys blading it's exactly this you know it's from a danger standpoint it's exactly the same some people may find it a little bit more gross one than the other um i i i'm 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 of the opinion and i've long been of the opinion probably for 35 40 years that i think that women and men in wrestling should have equal opportunities to excel and be treated the same in doing so and you know for a long time that made me insane and now you know it's whatever but it's like i've always felt that because once i saw the popularity of japanese women wrestling it was like okay there's no reason women can't be as good as guys. There's no reason. They can be. They'd have to work harder. They'd have to train with better people, blah, 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 blah. But there is no biological reason. Can they jump as high? No. Ne not necessarily. But, um, you know, there's other things that women can do that guys can't do. They're more flexible. You know, they're smaller. So they can do different things. You know, each has advantages over the other. Physically, there's also small guys. There's also large women. Smaller guys can be more flexible than bigger women. Blah, 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 blah. But the point is, I've seen incredible, incredible, incredible matches with women. And I've seen bloody matches with women. And it's this, you know, they're doing the exact same thing to get the blood than the guys are. And, you know, if if it's gross with guys, it's gross with women. If it's, if it's you know, and if it's not gross, it's not gross. It's that's, I just feel whatever it is. You know the standard should be the same and um they obviously went you know i mean there's a reason they said what they said um they were looking for that thing oh my god women are cutting their self self mutilating their forehead and it's like yeah you know i mean it happened they aw's done it a couple times and some people will will take that as a negative and you know i mean sponsors will if that quote goes places there'll be sponsors will go you know what man i you know Sponsors could be squeamish of it. So there's and and that's why they made the quote. This was this was absolutely a very calculated because of this, the use, usage of the women and because of going for that one thing. It was a very calculated thing, not for the public or not certainly not for wrestling fans, because wrestling fans actually, you know, I don't think wrestling fans mind it. Some do, but some don't. But um when it comes to the public reading that it's like okay they're the clean ones you know they're also going to saudi they're also preparing a show in saudi arabia next month you know so you know but that's a different moral ground but anyway yeah i mean but it's like, it's like i said like as far as if wwe was very serious about this in 2022 and that you know that that, that stuff shouldn't be around in 2022 then take it off your network if you ain't gonna take it off your network then you got no right to say that because you are maybe not producing new product but you are loaded with old product with the exact same thing hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week you can podcast them listen to them on the road at work working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.